Which is up guys, today as you can see we are at the warehouse and I spent all yesterday sanding the crap out of this bumper and it is nearly complete. Uh, I'd say besides a little bit of work up here, like I said, we're gonna have to fill that in. It is almost entirely flat all the way across. I used this air file for probably a couple hours straight just sanding it over and over using the guide coat trying to get as flat as possible uh, and then down here i also try to get this all flat all the way across there there's probably only a little bit of filler i gotta do inside here besides all the pinholes that need to be filled uh, either with the filler primer or with that glazing putty uh, there is a little bit of a high spot right here uh, so i think today i'm gonna start off with trying to take down this high spot the one spot that actually needs to be brought down uh, and then we're gonna do a little bit of bondo here just to get that nice and flat and then from there uh, I'm actually gonna lower the car down and then I'm gonna start working on this wing again uh, sadly we made a little bit of a mistake and uh, while I was trying to get the top of this brought down uh, we found out that it actually wasn't sitting on the bump stops, it was sitting on the corners of the trunk, so it was actually lifted higher than it was supposed to be, and now the trunk is off. Now we have to basically re-block the top of the wing, or not actually the wing at all, I'm not going to block any of the wing, I'm just going to block the sides of the wing here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take D8, bring this all down super quickly, uh, back here I'll be able to fill that in, bring that down with the D8, uh, and then just block it all off, and uh, probably easier said than done, but that's basically the goal today is to get it back to how it was basically uh, the wing anyways and then the trunk uh, like I said is pretty much good I just threw on like a can of filler primer just to make it look all consistent and one color So it's looking like this square that I marked out right here is still high even after all that I did. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and come back after I'm done with that. I'll go ahead and lower down the car and start working on the top of this wing. Um, and then uh, no one else is coming today. So it's pretty much just me working on the back end of this thing, trying to wrap things up. Uh, we are getting coilovers. They are ordered today. Uh, so we should be getting those within the next week or so. We'll get those installed. And then as soon as I get the coilovers in, I'll order my tires. I was just waiting to order my tires until I got the coilovers. There's no reason to spend the money unless I have to. Uh, then we get tires in probably within a couple of days, get those mounted, and then we'll be able to start mounting up our flares and everything. Some of you guys have been asking me if I'm gonna be doing a long splitter. Yes, of course, you know, it wouldn't be a Boza car without it. Uh, we're gonna be doing a pretty long one. I want it to be a little conservative so I can drive it on the road with it on. I'm gonna make it so it's detachable, so that way I can take it off. So for when I trailer it, uh, I can put it on the roof or whatever, put it in the back of a truck, something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Uh, we are gonna be doing the side skirts, and then I also do need to buy a silt spoiler. Tail lights, I've kind of figured out my tail light situation. I'm not 100% sure, and it's not what I was gonna do previously, but it's a new idea, and it's basically something that they do over there, and I'm gonna be content with it, and it's gonna flow with the rest of the car, so it'll be nice. Um, other than that, oh, one more thing. Uh, 
Right now, I'm just kind of waiting for the compressor to cool down. I don't want it to get overheated. The, the motor does get a little hot uh, just because it's running the entire time that I'm running that air file. But uh, one thing I did show you guys on my Instagram, but I didn't show on the film. I got a little care package in from a buddy of mine. And as we come inside here, uh, we got a shift knob from them. It's just like a little bubble shift knob. I was going to get a custom shift knob. I don't know if I'm going to anymore. This will do more than enough. The only problem is, is this thing is meant for like a manual car. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to mount it. Maybe you guys can help me out. I know that there are some conversion kits from automatic to manual shift knobs. However, this is a little funky. It's got this square part here. And I can take this off and there is a... Uh, there is kind of like a bolt under here and I could mount it to this and then that way I could maybe rig it up or something so that way I still push it down when I go to put it in gear or maybe just have it sit on there and then it changes anyways. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do. I might try and take this off, see if there's anything under there. Uh, maybe some of the crusted people out there can help me out with this. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe the only solution really is to just do a manual swap, but I'd like to do something. Worst case scenario, we're just going to have to cut some stuff up, modify some stuff and just make that fit on there because you know obviously we need to have some more stuff on the interior than just a steering wheel we did get some other stuff from them as well we're gonna go check it out it's all up in a box up on one of these shelves i'll bring it down for you so we can check it out So inside here we got some more goodies. We got some air fresheners. I got a really sick shirt. I'm not much of a shirt person. You can see it's a little bondy. I'm not much of a shirt person. I know some people are kind of crazy about like uh, getting like drift teams and stuff like that, but this is actually a really sick shirt. Like I think it's pretty awesome. And then it's got the four stars. It's kind of like the Chicago flag, but no, it's really awesome. And then you can see Japan parts service. Uh, they gave me a bunch of stickers. Yeah, the Japan parts service, got some other stuff in here. You got the two cars, you got the Toyota and the Nissan, and then also this thing. So originally, when I got this, I didn't really know where this went or what it was for. Um, he didn't tell me or anything, he just kind of sent me a care package. And I finally, I saw this on a car, and it was down in the back over here, which is really cool. So, you know our exhaust is gonna be coming out of here. I'm gonna be basically just doing a basic two up, you know, real high, maybe eight feet long. Uh, you know, just for now, maybe at some point we'll do the, you know, lightning bolts or stars or something. But for right now, that's just what I want. But then on this other side, I saw almost this exact same light right here. So I think that's where we're gonna be mounting it, somewhere around here. And uh, I don't know if we'll do it for a brake light or something, but uh, it should be pretty cool. We'll try and figure out a little mounting place maybe up inside here or something So it's kind of hidden a little bit um, But I'm also gonna have to figure out my license plate mounting situation um, I had a couple ideas I was either gonna just mount it out from here and have it come up and then I was just gonna remove it every time we had a show or something or I can get one of those covert covers made for me that I have on the Miata where it says Camborghini I'll just get something else made and we'll just put it on there. That's a possibility or what I was thinking is whenever we French our taillights in there, we mount our taillights, what we can do is we can cut out a little rectangle here and we can put a really strong magnet in there and we can just have the license plate just, you know, stuck on there with a magnet. A couple of cool kind of different ideas. Uh, a lot of the Boza cars out there, I'm not even sure if they have rear plates. It's like really interesting, especially the ones that have the whole rear end shape. So I don't really know what they do out there but I think those are probably our two options that are gonna be kind of like the most legal. Um, the only negative part to putting the magnet on there is probably whenever I put the license plate on there, on and off, it'll probably eventually scratch the paint. I don't really want that to happen. So most likely we'll just have it coming out there and we'll just have a little bracket or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, this is actually really cool. It's almost kind of like a like 50s uh, American car tail light. Um, it's pretty unique. I just dusted a little bit of primer on here, that way it looks pretty good. Uh, you can at least see how consistent it is all the way across there. And then I let it down, 
uh, just so I have a little bit easier access to the top of this. Again, like I said, because we didn't sand down these corners, it was actually lifting up the trunk, which made it so that way, whenever we blocked it to these corner pieces, it wasn't actually blocked to where the final resting position of the trunk is. So we're gonna go ahead and take the DA, bring this all the way down. You can see we're about a eighth of an inch up around here. Uh, this side's actually really close. I'm probably gonna do the rest by hand as you saw I did a little bit by hand. Sadly, I couldn't do too much more. The pneumatic DA stopped working. I don't know, this pad uh, fell off and the pads wouldn't stick on there. So basically, I'm gonna have to buy a new one next time we come. Not really a big issue, but it's just something we're gonna have to do. Uh, as you saw on the other side, I tried doing it with the electric one, but it's really just not that good and it was taking a lot longer. But this side, not nearly as close, but I still was able to get this top pretty damn close. Uh, over here, this top is very close, and then the rest of it is, is pretty close as well. So I'd say we gotta bring this down a little bit more after I get uh, another pneumatic DA, and then we'll probably do a little bit of Bondo. As you can see, there's a bunch of pinholes and little holes to fill, so we'll fill that in with Bondo. Um, and then I'd also like to build up this edge too. It does dip down a little bit before it gets to here, so we're gonna have to fill that in, uh, but that'll be real easy. That'll just be a couple of wipes of Bondo right here just take it off and uh, it'll be super quick. Anyways, I'm super pleased with the bumper. Now that it's on the ground, you can just see how much better it actually is. Now that it's actually kind of one color too, that helps with uh, the visual aspect of it looking nearly done. Uh, I'd say we probably have another couple of days of work on just the bumper. Uh, before it's 100% complete, but that also includes up here. Uh, I don't want to touch any of that until I bring that down more, but I don't want to touch really any of this until uh, the rest of this is complete, and then we can finish off that, and then we'll bring that down into here. And then from there, uh, I'll start to complete the bumper and everything. <laughs> 